for getting started with AI development using Java, I'm going to do the getting started tutorial for Neuroff, which is an AI framework for Java, which also comes with a GUI interface. Okay, so here's the interface. It looks quite familiar because it's based on NetBeans. So we have a nice getting started document which is available um, to download. So if we search for for this project, um, we go to SourceForge, go to documentation, um, and here we have getting started a short introductory tutorial. So let's just go through this. It is a Java framework for neural network development. Blah blah. blah. Okay, to we're gonna create and train a perceptron neural network. So we create a project, a uh, new project, next, finish. So step one, new project. Created a new project called test. Step two, create a perceptron network. So we click file, new file. Um, neural network, next. Perceptron, next. Okay, so. Okay, we're going to have two inputs and one output layer. Perception learning. Finish. Okay, this will. So, what's that done? This will create the perception neural network with two neurons in input and one in the output layer always step transfer functions step 3 create training set file new training set okay so we don't have training set in here Okay, we have this instead. So tools training set wizard. Please select a project with data set. New data set. Okay, yeah, that's what we want. So let's name it the same as they are in the tutorial. Type supervised. finish okay then create training set by entering training elements as input and desired output values of neurons in input and output layer use add row button and add new elements and click OK when finished basically got a uh, binary logic so false plus false equals false false plus true equals false and table haven't we so true plus false equals false false true plus true equals true okay do you want to save yes okay so training the network start neural network training to start network training procedure in network window, select train set and then click train button. Uh, 
add the data set to the neural network by dragging it it seems and now if we press train we want a max error of zero learning rate of 0.5 momentum of zero display error graph train stop oh, okay there we go when the total net error is zero the training is complete which will be very fast since this example is very simple step five after the training is complete you can test the neural network uh, the network for the whole training set by selecting training set to test and click the test button so we press that and then test false and false equals false false and true equals false true and false equals false true and true equals true to test single input use set input button so let's get rid of that uh, oh okay set in I reckon this does the same thing set input yeah, there we go so one delimited with space so true and false equals false true and false set input false and true yes let's make a test set new data set uh, test finished uh, number inputs two, number outputs one, finish add row one, one, Z zero, okay. Test. There we go. Well, that was, that was okay. This is a file which contains all the information. So let's just uh, have a look at that. Yeah, so it's a file that if you wanted to use in a project, you just... Uh, there's some other tutorials so if we go down here we've got various sample projects image recognition recognition stock market prediction chicken price prediction so I'm gonna work through these next